happy people tracy reed here today coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new autumn enchantment collection i could i just couldn't leave fall well enough alone it is my favorite season so i had to make two different fall collections obviously the first one was goldenrod which was sort of a transition from summer into fall this one is a magical fall inspired um, definitely with hints of magic though, uh, and a little bit of witchiness, and it is just so pretty. I mean, the colors on this collection alone are amazing. Let's look at those before we even start. Let's just let's just look at the colors. So we've got a full rainbow of color here. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, sky blue, purple, pink, and then of course black, white, brown. But this is the color palette for the collection. It is just, it's an autumn rainbow and it is just so gorgeous. So if you're new here, my collections are digital, printable, and they come on easily printable sheets if you want to print them or they come on individual files if you're going to use them digitally. I do a full digital kit with 12 by 12 papers. You can also buy the 12 by 12 papers separately. Then the 12 by 12 papers also come in traveler's notebook size as well as patterned card size. Then I have two sets of journaling cards with eight three by fours and two four by sixes each, a set of traveler's notebook size journaling cards, so traveler's notebook inserts, um, three full sheets of stickers that you can put through your silhouette or your Cricut or fussy cut by hand. I have fussy cutting lines or I have silhouette outlines as well. And then um, there is a set of digital stamps too. For the digital kit and the digital stamps, we will um, look at those at the end so that I can transition over to the computer. So let's start with the printables first. So these are the Traveler's Notebook size um printables they are 4.25 by 8.25 to fit in to a standard traveler's notebook for my collections there are 20 different patterns in this collection specifically there are a whole boatload of um, solid papers way more than i normally include because the color palette was so broad but they are included in the 12 by 12 and in the traveler's notebook size papers. Um, they're not included in the patterned cards because obviously they're patterned cards. <laughs> but so the pattern cards come in both four by sixes and three by fours. And on the printable sheets specifically, if you have a pattern that has a specific orientation like this beautiful blue moth pattern here, it comes on the printable sheets in both vertical and horizontal formats so that you can have both. The individual files come with three by four four by threes, four by sixes, and four or and six by four. So you get all of the patterns in both vertical and horizontal on individual files. So let's start looking at the patterns themselves. This is the star of the show, the very first pattern I designed. It is so fun. So you can see the icons in this collection. This isn't all the icons in the collection, but these are the more magical quote unquote icons in the collection. So we've got moths, three different moths here, three different mushrooms. There are some florals, some leaves, some acorns, some um, flowers in a vase. And then I've got this pretty little letter here as well. It is on black because I feel like the black makes the pattern just pop and feel that much more magical. Here is the red tonal pattern. It's a diagonal stripe with some stitching in it. Then I had to throw in a confetti dot on white just to lighten up the palette, lighten up the papers a little bit for if you want to have some um, airier, brighter and airier pages. Here is a really cute, teeny tiny daisy pattern on this really beautiful burnt, burnt orange color. And of course, if you have a rainbow palette, you have to have a rainbow stripe. So we've got a rainbow stripe going on here. Here is a leaf pattern. Um, a yellow on orange. Decided to keep this one tonal, but there is a multicolored leaf pattern as well. Here's that gorgeous blue moth pattern with the stars in the background. How beautiful is that? Oh, that blue is just so pretty. I love it so much. Then a yellow wonky striped plaid. You can see the distressing on all of the papers specifically really well in this one. Here is a floral. Surprisingly enough, there are not a lot of florals in this collection. I have one floral on two different colorways, so you can have, a, have it on black or on white. 
but I chose to really focus on the gorgeous moths and um, mushrooms instead in this uh, collection. So here's a stitched design. It's really pretty on that gorgeous green. Oh, everything's upside down. Oh, no, well, we're all messed up. So here is some of the more autumn leaning icons. These are shelves with, we've got a pot with gourds, pumpkins and squash on it. Here is a teapot with two different teacups and then books and a mortar and pestle, candles, little jars. So this is more of like a kitchen vibe, um, which I decided to relate a lot of the magic that wasn't specifically magic, but I decided to relate a lot of the magic themed um, word bits to the kitchen, like bewitching in the kitchen and stuff. So that that way it makes the collection a little bit more usable than just um, your standard. This isn't a Halloween collection in the slightest. Like it's, it's very just much, much just a magical autumn collection. Um, but I feel like I try to expand the phrases and the icons to make it more usable than just specifically niche um, magical themed. And so that's how I kind of related that was kitchen stuff. And speaking of kitchen stuff, I love this um, folksy paper. You can see that it is the design on the teapot and I made it into a paper because I loved it so much. Reminds me of a folksy wallpaper. Instead of dots, we have diamonds. And then that beautiful black with yellow stars. Decided to do my vine paper on teal instead of green and break the mold a little bit. This plaid is so pretty. I love it so much. And it does not include the um, cool colors. It's just the warm colors in the collection. I try to include all the colors in my plaids generally, but this one just looked great with just the warm colors. Phases of the moon. You can see that the moon has its little craters in it. Here is the multicolored leaf paper. And then this beautiful pink sort of buffalo plaid as well. So that is all 20 patterns. And of course, if, you're, if you've been following me for a while, you know that there are some alternate colorways that I like to include in the Traveler's Notebook signatures. So there will be a couple extra patterns in here as well. So these are Traveler's Notebook size again. So we have Autumn is the season that awakens my soul. Here is that beautiful blue moth paper, but on black. Oh, it's just so magical. Here are those shelves again. You can see them a little bit bigger now. This is a great place right here to put like um, a title. That buffalo plaid, but in yellow. I couldn't resist both colorways. Holding space for peace and gratitude, which I really feel is a vibe that I was going for with this collection. I didn't want to do a traditional gratitude collection or a traditional thankful collection. Um, just something more toned down than that. Here is a journaling card with that stitched pattern again in the background, this time in orange. All I need is a hot drink, a good book, and some alone time me every night. <laughs> we have Making Magic. Here's that beautiful leaf pattern that was on yellow and orange in the regular collection. Here it is in red and a lighter red. <laughs> Autumn Vibes. So another journaling card. The magic is in you, babe. It always has been. And yes, there are three different variations on this icon specifically. So wherever you see it, I did print out the lightest skin tone because hello, pasty white lady. Uh, but there is a medium skin tone and a dark skin tone as well. They are all represented on the previews. So you can see them there. But the printable sheets also come in variations of the different skin tones. So easy to print for everyone. And then that beautiful star of the show paper, this time on that deep green, it's just uh, perfection. Oh, I love that paper so much. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I posted it yet. I will post it this weekend, but um, one of the my customers loved this paper so much that she had it painted onto her nails by her nail artist. It is so gorgeous. Keep an eye out on my Instagram for that, it's so fun. Then there are two sets of journaling cards. 
there are two four by sixes and eight three by fours in each set of journaling cards. So let's check out the four by sixes. There is always a designer card and a journaling card in my four by sixes. So this one says, this is simply enchanting. It has a different colorway variation on those moths and you can see the ghosted stars in the background. And then I use a lot of these shapes in the journaling cards specifically in this collection. So it's a beautiful like bracket shape. And then it has that floral, but on brown on this paper. Then there are eight three by fours. So there's four journaling cards. This one has labels. There's a different variation on that plaid. I myself am strange and unusual, which is a quote from Beetlejuice. Lydia is life. Don't hide your magic. Autumn is a whole mood. So you can see there is two different themes going on that kind of mesh together. Beauty on the wind. I want to remember this. And grandmother, teach me to walk in wisdom. Mother, teach me to grow in love. Sister, teach me to follow my bliss. Daughter, teach me to live in wonder. This would be a beautiful card to... Uh, pair with a multi-generational photo, I think. Second set, we have two four by sixes. This one has the moon phases at the top and some journaling dots. And then with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy, which is a quote from Oscar Wilde. And then we have a shelf set up over here. Again, there are four journaling cards. We have that, uh, a different, but equally beautiful bracket shape. Move over hot girl summer. It's time for witchy girl autumn. I love this little cat. I think it's the first time we're meeting this cat. He's got a ball of yarn. A little bit of everyday magic. So you can see that's one of the cards where I was making the magic theme a little bit more relatable for every day. These moments are precious. Bewitching in the kitchen. Look at that pot journaling label, out with the negative energy, in with the positive energy, and a little note. So those are all of the cards and papers for the collection. There are three sheets of stickers and I'm going to pause the camera and lay these all out. Um, actually, nah, let's just go through them one by one because I think that'll be easier for everyone to see if I can hold them up close. But there are three sets of, or three sheets of stickers. There are um, over 115 stickers here and a lot of them or quite a few of them are like these leaf trails and stars so I'm not going to pull all of these out but there are a bunch of these leaf trails and stars that are included in that count my silhouette messed up a little bit there we go all right so there are so many illustrations in this kit that they, <laughs> they have taken over and you will not be wanting for illustrations. So let's check this out. Embrace change. We've got leaves and flowers throughout. It's cozy season. Here's one of three candles on the stickers. There are a bunch of these titles too. So we've got slow down and enjoy the season. This is simply gorgeous. Let's get cozy, some knitted socks there. Chase your dreams, a little pun with the cat. Take a walk in nature, a warm cuppa, so you can do coffee or tea, whatever you like. She is fierce, or even hot chocolate. Making magic, basic witch, high vibes, Enjoy this, autumn hijinks, and perfect moment. Some more flowers. So I, all of the flowers and leaves are included individually so that you can do your own layering. Here's a journaling tag, a journaling spot. Another tag it says so wonderful, gorgeous day. There are three of these labels here, journaling labels. 
This made me oh so happy. She's like the moon. Speaking of moon, there are three different stickers here for the moon phases. We'll put those there and we'll put them together as we find them. Noted. I love soup season. My spirit soars. Some more journaling labels. I think there's three of these. I don't know where the third one went yet, but they are patterned. I wish every day was this magical. Oh, there's the rest of the moon phases. So you can put them all together like that. Another flower, some banners. This one says blessings. Each shelf has its own sticker. So you can make your own little setup. Shine your light. There's that other label. A season of beautiful memories. Another shelf. Books. I always have books. A little jar, apothecary jar. So here is that moon illustration again um, with the lightest, palest lady, but there is a medium and a dark tone as well. Oh, I really like, I wanted to note these. I really love these teacups. They're so fun. Look, here they are on a shelf, <laughs> on a shelf with the teapot. So cute. Come back here. Oh, there are leaves, of course. There are eight different leaves so that you can scatter them all over your pages. Here's the other teacup. This says enchanting. The pot, but in blue. That rascally cat letter. You can see how many icons there are in this collection. It's just chock full of them, which is funny because Goldenrod didn't have basically any. So I guess I got all of my drawing out with this one. Another candle. Here's a moon. Knitting. Autumn always makes me want to knit. Mushrooms. Here's that teapot. Letter. Scarf and a room. Love these moths, they're so pretty. So here's some more leaves and mushrooms. Let's just put these down. Another apple. Here's another moth. So we've got lots and lots of leaves and mushrooms and flowers. Here's the third moth, leaf trails, acorns, stars, lots of little things that you can just sprinkle all over your page. Look at them all. <laughs> They're everywhere. Here's a moon on a pedestal. What else we got here? So many leaves and flowers you are not going to want for decorations. Let's get rid of them all. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. I love the little, the little mushrooms are just so cute to me. They just make me happy. My son loves mushrooms too, so he thinks this collection's for him. <laughs> oh, here's the third one. The green one. It's the Extra Life Mushroom in Mario. So lovely. This magic moment and in with the positive energy. So like I said, there's over 115 stickers in this collection. You're going to love them. All right, that is it for the printables. Let's move over to the computer and check out the digital stuff. All right, so I'm particularly proud of the Autumn Enchantment digital kit. I worked really hard on this one to make it so fun and usable. It has so many things in it that beyond just the illustrations that are of course repurposed in different ways. Some of them are chipboard, some of them are cork, some of them are enamel, and you can see those enamel pins in there too, specifically with the moon in the hands. And also that is an example of the medium skin tone. I put the medium skin tone on my um, preview for that one. 
but you can see there is wire there is all sorts of texture in the collection and then also if you look in the background there are lots of little bits of vintage ephemera which i thought really fit this collection quite well there is a down towards the bottom there is a you can see peeking out a gold um hinge i just thought that a lot of this sort of vintagey vibed stuff would really go well in this collection now if you check out the digital stamps there is a stamp for every single one of the illustrations of course then there are also titles and journaling labels as well as little word bits and um, banners in there as well so that is it for this collection i hope that you really really love it if you do you can pick it up over on tracyreed.com there is a link in the description box below for the autumn enchantment collection and it is um 20 per 25 percent off all weekend long if you're watching this as the video debuts um if not then <laughs> it's probably not on sale anymore but i have sales regularly so that's no big deal but you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you don't follow me over on instagram i'd love it if you would i am at tracy m reed and i will see you next time all right thank you